Happening right now, the desperate search for this 20 month old little boy now heads into day seven. Today marks one week since Quentin Simmons mother reported him missing. Yeah, this uh, case has gained national attention this morning. There are dozens of FBI agents in our area trying to find him. We want to go ahead and check in with our Nakaya Carrera, who's live in Chatham County and Nakaya. It's been one week. So many people are asking about this case. What do we know this morning? Hey, Frank and Olivia, while well, Chatham County's uh, police department has very, been very tight lipped since yesterday about, you know, some things they have been finding. But one thing they did tell us is they have some new evidence. CCPD tweeted, we've seized evidence that we believe will help move this case forward and we're now working to analyze the evidence to see where it will lead us. WJCL 22 News spoke to a former prosecutor and police officer about the case who says evidence could be anything, including digital. I want to look at everybody's digital footprint, so to speak. They're going to look and see where they've been, what they've been doing, who they've been texting, who they've been calling, who they've been emailing. And they're going to try to piece together the activities of every person who had access to this child. He also says as former law enforcement, every day that goes by, there is a less chance of a happy outcome. But Chatham County Police says they will continue to work to bring Quinn home again. Frank and Olivia, we are in day seven of the search for Quinn Simmon and agencies all over our area continue to work to find this young boy and bring him home to his family. Just a heartbreaking case. Nakaya, thank you so much for that update. We will check in with you a little later.